Hey guys, so we're back working on the D-Max again, and we've got the new Track Electronics camera integration system. And what that's gonna let me do is be able to see out of the reverse camera while I'm driving forwards, because as you can see, I've got the canopy on the back, and uh, we can't see out of that. And it's also gonna let me add a front camera. So when we're out on the tracks and uh, winching, we can see what the winch is doing when the uh, wheels are up in the air and you're looking at the sky. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is pop the head unit out. I've gone ahead and uh, popped most of the clips out. All done, just got a couple of screwdrivers and sort of levered my way around the uh, edges and um, try to do that the best you can without damaging any clips. And I know you're gonna hate me because I don't use the trim tools, but I just find couple screws are much thinner and they get under those tight gaps without actually damaging anything if you're careful. So once you've popped that off, just be careful not to pull too hard because you've still got your hazards wired in there. So you just want to unplug that and then you'll get a lot more slack with it. Once you've got that down, just want to unplug these two here and they'll just come completely off. Next, what you want to do is just take the actual control module out here. So just those four Phillips heads and uh, yeah, should be sweet. Once we've got our box out, what you wanna do is take this green one out and this white one here so I can start installing our patch cables in the pack. It's just this one here with the uh, braided uh, sheathing on it. Then just put the one, the identical one of the white back in on that patch cable. And then get the green one and do the same thing with the green plug you pulled out. So next you wanna find this red and black cable just connected to the patch that we've installed. This one here, and this last one here with the box on it. It's got this uh, red and black, so you wanna plug that in. Next step is just to earth this one. So these Phillips down here, just unscrew them a little bit, slide it under, and uh, screw it back on. Once you've got that earth down there, you just need to connect the last two, which is green to green, and uh, white to that white you pulled out before. Over here, not to the hazards. <laughs> so next we wanna look at our box. We got camera input one there. That is not our factory camera, that's our auxiliary camera. That factory one's gonna go into camera two input, and camera output is just our other yellow one there. So we have a fa male, and fa male and female on this side, and where that's just gonna go is the male and female there, and that last one is just your auxiliary. I've just chucked some Aleco tape on there, just cause I don't want them to come apart when I'm driving, and I'm sure they're gonna rattle, so yeah. So next, if you're doing the uh, front camera option, you gotta run a twin and just that aux cable that comes with the camera that's just a little shield there and the way i run it is just uh down through the dash there and uh up and in through the firewall in there you can see it on the other side it's pretty easy so once you got your active there and you've put your neutral on now all you're gonna do is get the loom for your switch, route it back through under the steering wheel and uh, pop out this, push out one of these and um, put your new camera button in, which would look schmick as. After you've put that button back in and you just put your dash back together, just like that, you are good to go. So let's give it a crack. We're just on ignition now, so the car's not even on. Press camera on. Yahoo! How good's that? Change camera. Yeah, we got the front camera too. How good is that? As you can see, we are driving forward and uh, we are in the reverse camera. We are cheering. And as I switch over to the front, try and drive like that. 